Somebody say a prayer for me. I have no more family. Bye, Dad. Cable closing the street. Tell me who killed my child. I work for the government. I do not work for terrorists. You used to work for them. Mr. Chen, I was watching the movie and I was wondering, is this an untied Jack Chan movie? I mean, there are not too many fight scenes. The, your character is very dark and is actually moving. I, I was moved by his story. Uh, can you talk a little about it? Uh, that's what I'm looking for so long. You know, in Hollywood, there's so many years I received the script, always police from Hong Kong, police from China. I, I wanted something new, but nobody hired me to do a romance, uh, see, uh, and like a La La Land, this kind of. I want to do Would something different. Would you like different. to do La La Land? Yes. <laughs> I, 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 by the way, he has a wonderful voice, yeah. a wonderful I singing voice. I want to do something. Finally, I get the script uh, from David and the director. I think, yes, finally, I can show the audience different side for Jackie Chan. It's not just like a Rush Hour One, Shanghai Noon, like this. So Jack Chan, 63 can serve some drama for the audience. How challenging was for you to, to play? The challenging. Game? Always the English. Always English on the set. You know, that makes me nervous. And it's not my mother language. And, and special, you have to speak English, emotion, teardrops. That's very challenging for me. It was really heavy, you know, him having to understand the script as it was all in English. Also, working against Pierce, who had a very northern Irish accent, which did, 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 yeah, did, didn't didn't help. The Pierce's accent is very northern Irish, it right? Is. Well, it's it, it's uh, very like Jerry Adams. It's sort of based on Jerry Adams, the, um, the head of the Northern Ireland, uh, and it, 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 and Pierce being Irish anyway. But that also, I think, probably added to the difficulty that Jackie had in terms of. However, he conquered it and did a marvelous job. So. so, and you also defeat like a retired James Bond in the movie, like <laughs> as a producer. Like, what was your role in bringing Pierce Brosnan for this? And did you make any jokes about it? No, I'm surprised uh, Pierce uh, accepted this role. I think because the director knows him. Well, I also think he did it because yeah. you wanted him. I, I yeah. seem to remember uh, you were very it's, sort of keen. It's amazing. You know, mm. he really helped me a lot on the set. Uh, I'm, he's an amazing actor, really. He helped me a lot. The, the movie talks about terrorism, but not ISIS. And I, it talks about IRA. Uh, what do you think this movie brings uh, of different in terms of dealing, uh, talking about terrorism? Well, I think the, look, terrorism, uh, tragically, is what we've just learned that, of course, um, uh, tragically in uh, Las Vegas, but whether it be France, whether it be England, we have to live with it now. We've got it every day, there is something. It's happened, in, as I say, in England or France. Our story really is, um, it's fictitious in the sense that the IRA um, has been at peace with England for since 1998. Um, and uh, so our story is a fictitious rogue group within the IRA. Um, and. Also, the plot with Pierce, the political plot, of course, uh, has a lot to do with it um, as well. So, you know. Wow.